What's up fans, welcome back to my channel and I'm sorry that this is a very late review but I'd rather review it to you guys now than, well, never. So today I'll be doing a quick non spoiler review of Judas and the Black Messiah. Coming up right now, hope you guys enjoy the show. Alright guys, quiet on set! Scene one, take one. Action! Boom! Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you also share with your friends because it helps the channel a lot. And hit that bell for notification because it helps the channel a lot. Judas and the Black Messiah is directed by Shaka King or Shaka King. I'm sorry if I put your name in. It stars Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield, and Dominique Fishback. Just to name a few. So the story is about a, is that basically the movie is about a biopic film of Fred Hampton. Yeah, Fred Hampton, who was and who was the chairman of the Illinois Black Panther group in Chicago around the 1960s. So the FBI, since William O'Neill got in trouble, William O'Neill must infiltrate the Chicago Black Panther community just to get close to Hampton. And also, just it, it follows the story of O'Neill's betrayal to Hampton. All right, so let's just get on with the review. I'll do. I try to do this quick and spoiler free as I can. So let's get on with it. One of the things that right away struck me was the cinematography. It's just gorgeous, man. Right away, the tracking shot one before Neil gets caught by the, you know, but gets arrested, and then he gets in a fight with people. And holy shit, it is just amazing. And also the acting by everybody, everybody, especially Daniel Kaluuya, does a great, great job portraying Hampton. The score is really nice too. It also creates this nice, intense, ten, intense scenes. Especially since with the combination of acting, cinematography, and the music, one of my favorite scenes is well when Hampton and the Black Panther Party visit the the crowns, I believe what they're called, and they're trying to set up a truce or a basically a unity or just yeah, a coming of peace. And I just love that it just when just creates this one tense scene of the of the head of the crowns, just you know deciding, and he just looks at. Fred Hampton and he just well he hands him an AK he's like you're gonna be needing this it's so great it's a combination of acting and cinematography and music I think I already said that but yeah once again I'll say it again it is a combination of cinematography acting and music it's amazing I also just love how they just captured my my city for to, to represent back in a day as a fellow Chicago and I just love how they just pretty much shot it so well and yeah, it does. Of course, I'm pretty sure they did shot it on Chicago on location. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but wow, it's it's beautiful. They captured it right, and it makes you feel like you're in the late '60s in Chicago. And then also, I just love just how the measures of of the movie. Just about yeah, the Black Panther Party was pretty, you know, violent. But then again, it's. I mean, I. I I can't, I can't escape this one thing that I got. I mean, we're gonna talk about a movie like this. You gotta talk about a bit of politics. So, they, it's kind of understandable when you see so much oppression and stuff like that. Also, there, so it's easy to understand why they're pretty much violent because, especially from Fred Hampton's point of view, you basically see that for throughout so many years of oppression, especially from the cops, racist cops, especially. It's um, yeah, it, it you kind of the movie creates this understanding of where people are coming from, and yeah, and then I gotta say, it's still. It applies to, to this very day, really. As a Mexican American myself, I do still face discrimination. So even I was, I, I didn't had a good experience with white cops actually. But also, there's one scene in the movie which I'm not gonna spoil it much. But there's a scene in the movie where like even people from the south, like white people from the south and Puerto Ricans and the Black Panther community, Black Panther Party, they basically just unite against the racist cops, the oppression, and the government, which is really nice. So if I were to talk about this movie a lot, then I had to spoil a lot of things. Well, maybe one day I'll cover this movie again in more in-depth and spoiler heavy and in an essay type of video. So if I were to give this film a rating, I'll give it a perfect five out of five. It is damn amazing. And <laughs> I'll say once and I'll say it again, it's due to acting, cinematography, and music, and it's all damn amazing. And also the pacing is really good too. This doesn't feel like a two hour movie. So that is my review for Judas and the Black Messiah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. So let me know down in the comments down below. Have you seen Judas and the Black Messiah? Let me know down in the comments down below so I can hear about your opinions on it. So this is Avi from Hobby Productions signing off and hope you guys enjoyed the show.